Paradox here at NOMA, and I'm here with Brian Pfeiffer, our Mellon Curatorial Fellow and co-curator of Lee Friedlander in Louisiana. And we are going to give you a quick sneak peek at two specific photographs in the show uh, in advance of the opening of the show, uh, which happens on Friday, so we hope you'll come out and, and see the show for yourself. Uh, but for now, I'm going to turn it over to Brian, who's going to introduce the first picture, and then I'll, I'll talk about something in a moment. Sure, thanks Russell. Um, so, Lee Friedlander is known famously as a photographer of the social landscape. Uh, and in New Orleans, of course, that means music and parades. Um, so, in the first gallery, uh, we have a number of photographs of musicians and parade culture here in the city. Uh, Lee Friedlander first came to New Orleans in 1957, working for, um, with Atlanta Records, Atlantic Records to photograph jazz musicians. Uh, but I wanted to talk about one of our favorite photographs in the show. Um, since Jazz Fest is starting this weekend, we have this photograph taken at the first Jazz Fest in 1970. Um, famously, Mahalia Jackson was scheduled to appear um, later the night of this photograph, but she was so caught up in uh, the moment and enthusiasm for a second line from the Eureka Brass Band, she joined right in. Um, and you have here in this photograph Lee um, getting close in the moment and really capturing um, this sweet exchange between Mahalia Jackson and a musician in the Eureka Brass Band. It really shows Lee Friedlander moving out and about on the street with his camera um, and really capturing what's so special about New Orleans and Louisiana. Um, Russell is going to take us in the next gallery and talk a little bit more about his experimentation uh, here in New Orleans as well. Sure, so one of the things that I think is exciting about this exhibition is that it includes pictures that are certainly documents of New Orleans life, uh, and then it also includes pictures that are very interested uh, in what we might call the kind of purely photographic way of looking at the world. Uh, and this picture in the center of this wall here uh, is one of those. This uh, is a picture that is only possible uh, in photography. Uh, and what I mean by that is this is one of Lee's very famous uh, self-portraits. And all of his self-portraits are very playful. Uh, they're not typical self-portraits. As you can see, here's another one on the wall uh, where his self-portrait exists only in his shadow cast on the painted white part of a telephone pole. Uh, and in this one, uh, we don't see the material Lee Friedlander. We see, again, his reflection uh, in the window of a shop. But this is actually a double self-portrait because we see, again, his reflection uh, in this small square. What we're looking at here uh, is a shop window, it was an antique shop, and at the back of the shop there was a mirror. So you see Lee's reflection in the surface of the window and then again reflected in the mirror that was positioned at the back of the shop. Uh, if we are standing in Lee's shoes at this moment, we can only choose to look at the window or through the window. We can't do both at the same time. But the camera records both indiscriminately and collapses them into one plane. And so I think we see uh, Lee Friedlander at his kind of most playful uh, and critical uh, in this particular photograph, which is actually one of the few that belongs to uh, the permanent collection here at the New Orleans Museum of Art. So we hope you come out and take a look at all of the photographs in the show. Uh, we actually have three related exhibitions. Uh, this is the main one. Downstairs in the Great Hall, we have a selection of Lee Friedlander's color photographs of American musicians, and then Brian Piper has also curated a presentation on the work of E.J. Belloc, which was most famously introduced to the world through prints made by Lee Friedlander in the late 1960s and early 1970s. So come on out on Friday and see all three shows.